Hello, happy Thursday. How is everyone? Um, how are you all? So I just got in my new shades. Let me just show this to a few groups. Hang on. Hang on. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. I'm just sharing it to whatever I can find right now. It's scrolling. All right, cool. All right, so new shades have come in. Hi, Emily. And I'm so freaking excited. So these are the new liquid lipstick shades, okay? So from the, you guys are seeing it from the top. So from the top, we've got successful, snarky, and subtle, okay? So these are the three new shades. They're all nudes. So they are perfect for any skin tone. All right, let me put on some primer because I'm kind of going to get ready, kind of not while we're doing this. I really want to show off these colors, but I also want to show off the new pressed shadow colors I got. So the new eyeshadow colors came in as well. All right, let's see here. So let's start off with some primer and then we're going to get into the shades. I know this is a weird time going live, but... I have to go to work tonight. All right, so we got that down. Now we're gonna do our eye primer and then we're gonna go into the colors, okay? So, and then I'm also gonna draw some primer on my arm so you guys can see the colors a little bit better. Let me just stick some eye primer on. Hello, welcome. I'm so excited to show you guys. All right, so we have eye primer on. Oh, I want that out. All right, so let me roll up my sleeve a little bit. So I'm gonna put some eye primer on my arm, which is reminding me I need to get more. Okay. And we're gonna have a swatch party. So along with the new liquid lipstick colors, I also got in our new eight press shadows. So we're gonna go put them into our little eight palette that we've got here. I'm freezing. It's so cold out here. So our little eight palette we got. And as we go through, I'm gonna swatch them on my arm so you guys can see the colors. So let's see here. What do we want to start with first? Let's start off with the matte colors. So starting off with this one. We'll do this one first. So this is Transcendent. It is a, oh, it doesn't give the description anymore. Well, this is Transcendent. This is one of the new matte shades, the new nude matte shades. Comes in a little plastic thingy. Can't even describe what it's called. All right. And we're gonna pop this one in. Easy to pop in, they're magnetic, so they stick to this really well. So these are magnetic. We're gonna take our brush. This is transcendent. And applying it to the primer. So that's transcendent. Hi Stephanie, so this is a nice light color. It's kind of caramelly, so it's like a caramelly color. So that is transcendent. Next up, we're going to look at what other matte colors did we get in? There's eight new colors that we got in in Press Shadows, and I'm so excited for all of them. All of them. Okay, we'll do this one. This is a good one. This is late. No, that's not really a matte. Hang on. So we're going to do Jealous, which is another beautiful shade. Again, these are all nude shades. Unique has released all new, new all nude <laughs> shades in this month's kudos and they will be part of the core line so this is jealous all right so we're gonna take our brush again I'm using the other side of the brush so that's jealous it's a little bit darker still a really pretty color all right what's next Let's do, oh my God, I almost freaked out. I was like, am I missing one? All right, no, now we'll do this one. We'll do laid back, all right? So doing laid back. Which is almost like a, a metallic, not metallic, but a slight shimmer to it. Oh, a satin color, we'll call it a satin color. It's a very nice, pretty satin color. 
So we'll do that. So this is laid back. So it's a very light, light color, okay? That's laid back. Now I think we're gonna have to bust into some of the shimmery tones. Oh wait, we got one more. Idealistic. Idealistic. So we'll stick that one in there as well. This one's again, kind of a satiny color. So we'll put idealistic right here. Oh, this is really pretty. This is almost like a soft, a very soft nude. Very soft nude. I like it. I think it's pretty. I'm going to use all these today too in my look. All right, so next up we're going to have Joyful. So we're going into the shimmery nude shades, okay? Everyone should have a good shimmery nude shade when it comes to their makeup. Um, it really amps up your eye makeup look. So I always, always, always encourage to have one of those. And I think this is going to become one of my new favorite bridal palettes too. My favorite bridal palette that I have is my rose gold one. This is going to be my favorite nude one for the brides who are like, mm, I don't like that much stuff. So this is Joyful. Ooh. Look at that. You guys can see the shine like as I bend my arm. This is Joyful. Joyful. We're going to go into Unworldly. Unworldly. This is kind of a, it's close to, what's that one color that I like to use? Shoot, what's it called? No, nah, where is it? Crap, what's the name of it? Unabashed. It's close to unabashed, but it's not unabashed. This one's a much lighter nude. Look at how well they shimmer though. That's nice, that's nice, that's real nice. Then we're gonna do Covetous. Covetous. This one's more of like a rose gold kind of tone to it, okay? Let me get another brush out. Yeah, much more rose gold. So this is covetous. All right, so it's almost like a, it looks really quick like a silver, bronze, and gold. So that's covetous, and then we got one more, and then we'll get into the makeup. And that's visionary. It's visionary. Every time I like finally learn the new color names that come out with more, and I'm like, oh my God. Now I gotta learn them all again. And this one is visionary. Ooh, that's pretty. That's visionary. So these are the eight new shadows. The eight new crushed shadows. Hi, Barbara. I just realized you tuned in. I'm sorry. Sorry. All right. So these are the eight new crushed shadow colors. They're all in the back of my arm, along with our three new nude colors. And I'm really digging the color successful, and I'm totally wearing that today. So let's get into the makeup part of this all, okay? So I'm going to start off with laid back all over my lid. applying laid back all over. I already have my primers on. You guys saw me put it on first thing. And actually, I want a fluffier brush than that. That one's not working out for me very well. So we're going to use this one. So this is the color laid back. So it's a nice, simple, nude color. So that's this one right here. All right. Then we're going to do a little bit of, what one do I want to use next? How do I want to go about this today? Still undecided. I don't even want to get dressed for work. I'm such a bum. So I started personal training this week, okay? So I started using a trainer. I am so sore. Hi, Erica. I am so freaking sore. So sore. Like, my whole body just hurts. And now I have to go wait on tables tonight. I'm going to be walking around like a robot because it hurts so bad. All right, so next up we're going to use 
Let's use, oh shoot, what was this one called again? What are you called? We're gonna use this one. I have to look at the back of these again. I always tap off any excess I might have. I'm working on the outer V. And into the crease just a bit. So we're starting to add a little bit of dimension to our look, okay? So these are really great colors for if you have blue eyes like I do. If you have blue eyes, these are great colors for you. I'm going to see what color this is, though, because it's going to bug me. Idealistic. All right, so we're using Idealistic. Hi, Jillian. We've used um, excuse me, Laid Back and Idealistic so far. All right, so we have that all over our eyes. Um, Let's see what else. Let me blend that in a little bit more. All right, so then next up, what do I want to go into? Let's do a little bit of let's go into what colors did I put on? I'm like, what colors did I use? I can't even decide what I'm doing. No clue. Um, let's do visionary. So we're gonna go use some visionary. All right, so we're gonna take that visionary color. Thanks, Leo. And on the outer V again, filling that in. So we're adding the shimmer aspect to it, okay? So on the outer V, Leo, share my video, please. And then we're going to take our blending brush again and just kind of go over it once more to feather it out. Hi, Megan. To feather it out so it's not so strong, okay? So it is appearing very strong. I have nothing else on my face right now. So my make the eye makeup is going to appear very bold right now. And then finally, we're going to go into, I think this is Joyful. We're going to use Joyful, okay? So we've used four colors out of this to create our eye look for the day. Now here's what I love about this palette. This palette is perfect for every eye color, but I'm going to tell you it's perfect for blue eyes because of the nude shades. Um, it's very easy. If you're learning how to blend your eyeshadows, you're definitely going to want this palette first, okay? And you make this palette up. It's included in this one's kudos. So you make this palette up. You pick the colors. You pick um, how you want to use them. And it works out amazingly. So we're using joyful all over all right and then again we're going to take our blending brush actually we're going to take the one we used for the shimmer and just kind of finish blending that out all right so now we're going to go into the rest of our face we'll do our lashes later um, I'm not going to do a winged eyeliner. I really want to keep it nice and simple and nude, especially because I really want to use a successful color. Like, I'm really in love with it. Like, really in love with it. All right, so let's do the rest of our face makeup. So I'm going to take my favorite combination of BB Flawless and some concealer. But I'm going to start off with a little bit of concealer first, all right? So I'm using some Scarlet to reduce the redness on my skin. And we're going to blend it out. Always spray your blender with setting spray. And you should work with a damp blender always. And the reason why you want to work blend, if you spray it with setting spray first, that's going to help lock in your makeup for the rest of the day too, okay? So we're just using a little bit of concealer right now. It's very light. This is in Scarlet, which is our lightest shade. And 
and then we're going to darken it up a little bit as we apply our BB Flawless. All right, so this is very light foundation, okay, or light concealer. This is really just to reduce the redness that we got going on right now. So next up, I'm going to take our, actually, I'm going to use this really quick. Hi, Alyssa. So I'm going to take our BB Flawless in Bisque. That was too much, but that's okay. So BB Flawless in Bisque. And I'm going to take my liquid foundation in Organza. And I'm going to add two drops. Yeah, two drops is good. Hello! Two drops to it, okay? So here it is. Bisque and the two drops. So now I'm going to mix that all up and apply that to my face. Oh, these work out perfect. Hmm. And start applying this all over. I'm using a concealer brush to apply this all over. That way I get a little bit more even coverage as I do this. So we'll start off with that. Again, taking our blender, we're going to spray with our setting spray and start working the product in. So blending this all over. If you guys could, please share my video. That'd be so greatly appreciated. All right, so blending this all in. I have a little bit of extra product, so I'm going to definitely pat that all in. Thursday already. I'm still like thrown off from all the holidays and everything. Like my days of the week are all messed up. I'm trying super hard to stay on track with everything. Now my eye makeup's starting to make a lot more sense because there's actually foundation on my face. Alright. Then I'm going to do just a little bit of light contouring. I'm not going to do a lot. So actually, this is really funny. Um, earlier today, someone posted... Oh my god, my legs are so sore. So, so sore. It's really funny. Someone earlier today posted about contouring and how they're like, Oh my god, I don't have time for it, this and that. And um, they're like, how do you even handle it? And I'm like, I love contouring. Like... It's one of my favorite things to do. And she's like, I don't know how you can do it. And I'm like, it doesn't take that long if you learn how to do all the trick, uh, steps and the tricks with it. So most people see contouring and they're all like, oh my God, so it's, you know, a bunch of dark lines. You got to blend it, blah, blah. There's easier ways to do it. You don't have to do it that strongly. So we're actually going to do it. Hi, Brittany. We're actually going to do it. I want to do it strongly, but I don't because I know that it's a little difficult for a lot of people to understand how to do it very strongly. So... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do it. If I can find my stuff, we'll do it the strong way. If not, we're not. I don't think we are. So, hi! I don't think we're going to do it the strong way. So, we're going to do it the simple way. The not-so-scary way where, like, everyone starts freaking out over contouring. So, here's where we're going to start. We're going to start off with a little bit of concealer under my eyes. All right? This is the easy way, okay? It's blending, but at the same time, this is the easy way. It is a lot of work, but it's totally worth it. All right, so I put a little concealer here, and I'm actually going to drag this out a little bit more. I like emphasizing my cheekbones. 
I have high cheekbones. So I like emphasizing those. I don't like emphasizing this so much, but I did put highlight there because it does go with it. All right. So now we're going to take our blender again. Let's take this one. Spraying it down. And I'm just kind of making sure that it's nice and damp. And start blending it on my chin. A little bit on my forehead. I have a five finger forehead, and so I don't like to emphasize that too much. Down my nose, and then around my eyes. Again, paying more attention to the highest part of my cheekbones here. And making sure it's not streaky okay so I know a lot of people too like to use the um, and whatever's left over I just kind of throw on my forehead because again I don't like to emphasize it too much but it's gotta get blended and I do a little bit here along my jawline all right it's really what's whatever is left over on my sponge oh god what was I gonna say I forgot what I was gonna say All right, so it's gonna look a little strong. It still looks like it's not blended all the way. It's not done yet, all right? When you get the other parts into it, that's when it starts to be done. So here's where we're gonna throw in the easy way, all right? So that's kind of the hard way. So we're doing a mix of both, all right? So here's another part, here's one of the easy ways. Dun, 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 dun. Shade and light palette, okay? So this is Kat Von D. It's not unique, but it's Kat Von D. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the stronger color here it's very strong so you guys can kind of see where it's supposed to go all right so right there this is all in the hollows of my cheeks around my forehead I'm doing it nice and strong so you guys can see it and this is with a powder all right powder does not mean it's easier but this is also it's faster to blend powder along my jawline here And I go down my neck a little bit. Hi, Sierra. So just to kind of show you down my neck a little bit and to hide that double chin of mine. Looks like I have a beard. All right. And then of course, sides of your nose. You always want to do sides of your nose. You don't want to forget that. Otherwise it looks weird. Like you contoured everything on your face, except for like one of the most important parts. Ooh, there it is. And also one of these brushes is best if you're trying to map out where you want to contour. Cause it's flat. All right, so this is with powder. So you guys kind of get an idea of where you're supposed to draw your lines. And then sometimes I'll like go around my chin a little bit. But since I have a super double chin, I don't like to do that too much. Hi Chanel. So you guys can see how strong it looks, okay? So this is where it, this, so again, this is the easier part of it. It's not 100% easier, but this is easier than, you know, using the cream and all the blending you have to do, okay? So now you gotta blend that all out. Cause you can't walk around like this. Can't walk around like this. So you always wanna take a nice big fluffy brush, something a little stiff too. You don't want it to be super soft. Like this one's got a little bit of um, stiffness to it. And we're going to just start blending it all in. I'm going back and forth on my forehead. I'm not going like this. I'm going in a circular motion around my forehead. Now that it's blended into the highlight that we did with the concealer, it looks like a more gradual gradient than here's the white and here's the dark. Okay. We're gonna do a jawline. This is the one you gotta watch because sometimes you miss it. And then people are like, oh, you totally contoured and you didn't blend it. And it's like, mm-hmm, yep, totally did and didn't blend it. So I go down my neck, sometimes into my chest. Alright? 
This is also from doing photo shoots for so long. It's like wired into my brain, like I have makeup on my chest. All right, so the next up, we're gonna do the cheeks. Again, sticking with the same brush. Something like this is good too. It's kind of stiff, but not. Hi, Nicole, something like this is a good one, all right? And again, circular motions. See how easy that was to blend? And it looks natural. Like, look at this side of my face. Like, it starts to curve in. That's what you want. You want that curve in. All right, and then we're going to do the sides of the nose. Sides of the nose, you're going to want a smaller brush because something like this, you could end up having like no nose if you don't do it right. So, but this is super easy to blend. So again, this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. That's what I like to use. I know it's not unique, but you gotta mix it up somehow, sometimes. Some people are always like, oh my God, how can you only use one brand? I don't only use one brand. I use a lot of brands, but my favorite is unique. So I'm gonna go back to that brush that I told you guys about. And this is the one I'm gonna blend on the side of my nose with. And this is where I hate blending my nose. Do you see this? Now it's dark. So now I'm going to need to press powder to fix that. Or take the blender you used originally. There we go. You really should work creamed powder but if you mess up with your powder and you have a little bit of cream on here it's not super bad it's okay you're just fixing up a mistake it's okay all right so then next up we're gonna do our brows okay so contouring can be easy it really can be it's not that super hard it's not like rocket science it's one of those like you just gotta learn how to blend and that's what makes it super easy once you get that blending down then you're fine okay so what I'm gonna do is oh, I forgot highlighter so we're going to use Benevolent really quick. Just on the highest parts of my cheekbones. This is turning into one of those videos that are like, how to achieve like a no makeup makeup look, but to do that you need like 50,000 products. <laughs> Sorry. It's what I do. That's what I do. I love makeup. That's how it is. Can't explain it. And I'll just throw some blush on so I'm not so pale. So I'm not so washed out looking because sometimes if you don't contour right and you don't blend it right, you're going to look washed out and you don't want that. All right, so let's do these brows because they suck. So we're going to use the Faithful Splurge again. Hi, Sabrina. So we're using Faithful Splurge. And we're going to take a spoolie quick and just kind of brush all the little hairs into place. I really need to do my brows. I just haven't sat down and done them. Maybe I should do a live on that. There's like a few things people have told me to do like weird lives on like so I have to wear a tie to work and they're like you should do a live on how to do your ties and I was like not really important but then I'm like mm, there's a wife out there somewhere who wants to learn how to do that for her husband so it might do that I don't know there's lots of options out there in the world what do you guys think all right so I'm going to take our brow artist brush I'm using faithful and if you guys could please share this video that would be so greatly appreciated I seriously would really really appreciate it once you do, just comment, share. Oh, good. So I'm using the flat end of the brush to map out where my brows are going to go. Hi, Brandy. 
I know I try to show you guys like everyday stuff, but sometimes I really like taking extra steps and doing a big glam thing. Like that's just how I am. Sometimes I'm like, you know what? If I'm not doing a live, I love like sitting down here for like, hi Amber, for like an hour and just do my makeup. That's what I like to do. Put some music on and handle it. You know what I mean? So this is actually a cream eyeshadow that I'm using right now. So this is an eyeshadow color I'm using to do my eyebrows. Why am I using it? So it's kind of similar to if you're using a brow pomade by like Anastasia, um, Beverly Hills Anastasia. What is she? I don't even know. So the pomade is keeping all the little hairs in place because it is creamy instead of using a brow uh, like a wax or anything. Sometimes I like to use the wax from the brow palette that we offer. Alright, so we're starting to blend inward a little bit more. So just like that, and then we're going to take the smaller end of our brow artist brush, which is angled, and just start kind of throwing some little hairs in. So you always want to do it in short little hair-like motions. Your brows aren't a solid entity, they're not a big block. So if you do it in the short little hair-like motions, you'll keep that natural look to it. And so it's not going to look so sh like super scary strong. Hey, if it's not for you, it's not for you. You know, some people don't like to do it. I happen to like doing contouring because I like how my face looks after I do it. So if it's not for you, don't do it. Some people too, it also depends on how they're doing it. It could look cakey because of how they're doing their contour. Or what products they're using. That's another big thing. So I'm using the spoolie right now. Just kind of blend it all together. This will also help tone down if it looks too dark. I just feel like contouring is one of those like makeup trends that are going to be around for a really long time and I like it. <laughs> That's just my personal preference. But if you don't like contouring, don't do contouring. Some people just have a face shape where they don't really need it. Some people like me have a face shape where they do need it. Not really. I have an oval shaped face, but I just like doing it. We have our brows done. So I was using the spoolie just to blend that all out. I feel like this part is not dark enough though. All right, it's cool. All right, so then next up, we're gonna finish up the rest of our eye makeup. I'm gonna do a little bit. I'm in one of those moods where I'm like, I just wanna do like a really full face glam. Like that's what I wanna do. I'm taking a little bit of highlighter again, but the powder form of the color I just used and setting that over the top. And then here's one of my big tricks on settling all of your eye makeup up so it looks nice and blended and it's not super strong or over the top. So you're going to take the highlighter that you used and go under your brow. That's going to highlight your brow bone. Then you're going to take a blending brush and you're going to blend it all together. This is going to soften the look. 
but it's going to make everything kind of form together, kind of blend together properly, you know? I need to get a little bit of this color in here. It looked a little too dark or too light compared to the other side. All right, cool. So then next up, we're going to go into mascara. Oh dear. This is definitely a long one. So we're going to do, I don't really want to do falsies, but I do want to do falsies. We'll use the Demi falsies. So we're going to use Demi wispies. I always peel them off. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. No, I want to keep that looking nice and natural looking. So we're not using falsies. We're just going to use the Epic mascara. Okay, so using Epic, I'm going to take my lash curler. Curl those bad boys up. Then taking our Epic. And applying Epic all over. Next eye. And continue going back and forth until you get the length that you want. So this curls and lengthens your lashes. So while I did use the curling iron, uh, curling iron, <laughs> the curling, um, the lash curler, you don't have to. I just prefer to because my lashes go straight out. So I want to give them a little bit of extra oomph. and then get the bottom lashes. Hi Michelle. So we got the bottom lashes too. All right, then I'm just gonna do a little bit of powder underneath to keep that from creasing because it's starting to crease a little bit from all the concealer that I put on. So I'm going to use pressed powder in Scarlet. Take this lovely brush here. Hi Andrea. It's better if you use a translucent powder to set your makeup, but in this case, I'm just really setting, not really setting it, but just kind of preventing a lot of the creasing going on, so it's not sinking in. Hello! All right, then finally, last step, the new nude colors. Bam! All right, so we're going to use Successful today. So here are the, oh, I smudged somewhere. Hello. So here are the new colors. So this is Subtle, Snarky, and Successful. We're going to use Successful. Brand new liquid lipstick. And I'm obsessed already. Now these are going to be part of our core line, okay? That means they are not limited to just this month. I know, isn't it really pretty?
This is definitely more of that like rosy nude color. This would look great on dark skin girls. I'm obsessed. Subtle would look really pretty on you, Brittany. Subtle would look really pretty on you. So this is our look using all of the new nude colors that have come in. Not all of them, but majority of them. So again, so subtle, snarky, successful. And then these are all of the new pressed shadow colors. And I totally forgot that I had that on and I moved my arm down. So, but these are all the new pressed shadow colors. Some of them are very light. Like this one is super, super, super light. Okay. So these are all the new pressed shadow colors. They're all nude colors. All right. Finally, always remember. lack the crap out of my face before I go anywhere <laughs> especially when I'm working at the restaurant tonight so my skin is going I'm going to be sweating all right guys thank you so much for tuning in I always greatly appreciate it you're the best if you have a chance please share this video um I would so appreciate that as well and in the meantime I'll talk to you all later bye